at the Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium, Freeman Barr in the ring. You can see set to defend his IBC America's middleweight title. Roosevelt Booth, the opponent from Bradenton, Florida. Roosevelt told me he was uh, born in Louisiana, raised in New York, now fighting out of Bradenton. Freeman Barr comes in with a record of 12 and one. Again, he won that title, the IBC middleweight uh, title, stopping Andres Arellano in round number 10. That was uh, just uh, a few months back. All right, let's go up to ring announcer Bob Alexander. Fans, our next fight of the evening is your second co-main event, scheduled 12 rounds for the IBC America's middleweight championship. Representing the IBC in the ring is Fred Lampson, supervisor of the IBC. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the all-black trunks. He weighed in today at 157 pounds. His professional record, 12 wins, six losses with one draw. He fights out of Bradenton, Florida. Let's welcome the challenger, Roosevelt Bang Bang Booth. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, also wearing black trunks. He weighed in today at a ready 160 pounds. His professional record an outstanding 12 wins, only one loss with six knockouts. Originally from the Bahamas, he now fights out of Naples, Florida and the SJC boxing team. He is the Florida State middleweight champion. He is the defending IBC America's middleweight champion. Let's welcome Freeman, the natural bomb. 12 rounds for the IBC America's middleweight championship. Okay, gentlemen. I will like Referee Max Parker giving the instructions to the fighters. American middleweight championship. I want our clean sports back contest. On this point, both of it played by every command. Touch gloves, come out by outside the game. All right, we're set for round number one. Boxing on the internet. Freeman Barr set to defend his IBC America's middleweight title. Both fighters wearing black trunks. Round one. Freeman Barr, a boxer puncher. Throws the right hand and lands a right hand right to the chin of Roosevelt Booth. Freeman, only 23 years of age, the veteran Booth, 36 years of age. So the youth goes to Freeman. Barr trying to establish the position, trying to establish the, the left jab. Good counter puncher though, Freeman, can do it all. There he throws the right hand, lead right, and another one. Left hook. Roosevelt looks a little off balance as he uh, attempts a, a left hand, throws another left hand, Freeman blocks it. Barr, a very good defensive fighter. Throws the combination to the body and to the head, blocked by Booth. Freeman lands left, two more lefts. Tries to drop the right hand on, on Roosevelt here early in round number one. IBC America's middleweight title on the line. Barr defending that championship for the first time. Booth now fighting out of Bradenton, Florida. Ball residing in Naples, Florida, originally from Nassau in the Bahamas. Big fan of Evander Holyfield. Picked Holyfield to beat Tyson in their first fight, and he's doing it again. He's picking him again. Right now, he's picking himself to, to retain his championship. Freeman with a left hook and a right hand. Boxing good early, Freeman Barr. If Roosevelt Booth sits on there on the outside like that, I think he's gonna get picked apart. Good left hook, right hand by Freeman Barr. Max Parker Jr., the referee. Good right hand, hurt Booth. Left and a right by Barr, right hand by Barr, missed over the top of the head of Booth. Freeman Barr comes in at the limit, 160 pounds. 157 for Booth today. Freeman 5'10 and a half, Booth 5'9. 
Left hook attempted there, blocked by Barr. Right hand blocked by Barr. Freeman Barr trying to work inside. Lands a, slightly lands a right uppercut. Goes upstairs down, big right hand by Freeman Barr. Uppercut and a right hand, both, all, both right hands by Barr. Good combination there by Freeman Barr. Three and four punch combination, ending round number one. Good first round for Freeman the natural bar. The aggressor throwing more punches, landing more punches. He certainly had the advantage in that round. We'll score it 10-9 for Freeman Barr as he defends this IBC America's middleweight title. We're live from the Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium in Punta Gorda. First ever boxing on the internet as we see the lovely round card girls provided by the Foxy Lady Lounge in Southwest Florida. Max Parker Jr., the referee. Fighters, uh, Victor, Victor Cruz working on Roosevelt Booth. And let's go to a break and come back with round two. Well, actually, we don't have time to do that. We're going to stay right here. Round number two. Freeman Barr, Roosevelt Booth. They're late getting the mouthpiece in on Booth, who took some good right hands and lefts in round number one from Freeman Barr. Again, the only loss for Barr, a eight-round stoppage to Rita Ruvacaba in November, but he comes back after that and wins the title, the IBC America's middleweight title from Andres Arellano stopping him. Turned pro in 1993. Didn't have a big amateur career, but captured a couple titles. When you watch Freeman, though, he's very poised and skilled inside the ring. Economical with his punches, but throws a lot. Th th when he throws them, he lands them. Right hand by Barr. Big right hand, that hurt Booth. Freeman with an uppercut, another uppercut, and a left hook. Throws punches from all angles, does Freeman Barr. Booth is gonna have to show some more lateral movement or he's gonna get knocked out tonight. Freeman Barr trying to set up that big right hand, working well inside. Booth trying to work on the body of Barr. But you can see even on the inside, Freeman's winning these exchanges and ending most of them with the right hand, as he does there, as he backs up Roosevelt Booth. Both fighters in, the, in black trunks. Booth fighting the South Pole style, leading with the, the right hand. Freeman with a body shot. Round two, live from the Charlotte County Memorial. Boxing on the internet. Southwest Entertainment, SJC Boxing, LBS TV, bringing you this action tonight. Freeman Barr coming forward, taking part of this round off. Landing a combination inside, but not nearly as active as he was in round number one for Barr. Good combination by Freeman. Booth attempts a left hook, but it goes over the top of the head of Freeman Barr. Wild attempt by Roosevelt Booth. Off balance, looks amateurish in that exchange. 12, six and one, 36 years old. It's been over a year since he's fought. He's showing that inactivity, showing that ring rust. Roosevelt Booth attempting to show some aggression here. 10 seconds left, round number two. Boxing on the internet, war on the Peace River. We'll have more of this IBC America's middleweight title right after this. City crowd here at the Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium, Punta Gorda, Florida. 
getting set for round number three of this IBC America's middleweight title. Freeman the natural bar defending that championship against Roosevelt Booth. Let's go back to the action. Boxing fans, fight fans, computer fans watching around the world for the first time as boxing hits the internet. Gave that second round to Freeman, but he wasn't as busy, nearly as busy, wasn't nearly as busy as the first round. Now he's coming back with some more action, trying some uppercuts there and some right hands. Missing, throws a lead right. Barr considers himself a boxer puncher. Much in the manner of uh, his hero, Evander Holyfield. And I gotta admit, Freeman picked Evander to beat Tyson before their first fight in November. Most boxing experts didn't. Wild right hand, tempted by Roosevelt Booth. Booth is uh, married with three children. Again, he's originally from Louisiana. I just spent some time in Shreveport, Louisiana with uh, Showtime. So I did the ring announcing for Jimmy Lennon Jr. that night. Great state. Was raised uh, partially in New York and now he resides in Bradenton, Florida. It's getting a little sloppy in there right, right now. Both fighters, sort of a chess match. Freeman, I, I mentioned, lives in Naples, Florida from Nassau in the Bahamas originally. His girlfriend, an interesting story, Freeman's girlfriend actually the cousin of smoking Joe Frazier. He has one child. And looking for bigger and even better things. But he, right now he's got Roosevelt Booth in front of him. Freeman lands a right hand, gets hit with a, a right. Throws a right of his own. Wild left hook attempted by Booth. Off balance. Freeman attempting to take the advantage as he lands a good uppercut. I think that hurt Booth, that uppercut there. I saw his legs buckle a little bit. Freeman has him against the rope. Throws a left and a right. Right hand by Barr. Missed. Tim Cibolo, Kid Gavilan would have liked that. Partially lands. Two good lefts. Freeman much better when he's leading with that left jab. Has a good left jab. The most important weapon in boxing. Low blow. A low blow by Freeman Barr. A low blow. Comes in round number three. Accidental, but fairly blatant. Roosevelt Booth is up. Max Parker Jr. asking him and I think he's going to be given a five-minute period of rest. Now, an accidental low blow will not stop the contest, but the referee may allow the fighter up to five minutes to recover. All right, they're back, the action. Roosevelt recovered quickly. And they're back. Freeman Barr, Roosevelt Booth. Round number three ends. We're live from the Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium in Punta Gorda, Florida. Boxing on the internet, beautiful women on the internet. And let's hope that this picture is coming across crystal clear. Southwest Entertainment in association with SJC Boxing and LBS TV are presenting this first ever live boxing on the internet. We're heading into round number four, Freeman Barr, Roosevelt Booth. Getting ready for round number four. Roosevelt Booth didn't nearly take the five minutes that he would have been allowed, but let's see how much he's recovered from that low blow. Big right hand by Barr, and another right hand. That hurt Roosevelt Booth, who holds on. Both fighters loaded up. Freeman got there first. Max Parker warning the fighters about their roughhouse tactics. Here in round number four, War on the Peace River, the IBC 
America's middleweight title on the line. Freeman defending it and, and getting a very, a very aggressive defending it. Loads up with a left hook to the body. Uppercut, another one. Left and a right by Barr. He's definitely hurting Roosevelt Booth with those body shots, is Barr. Some, some of which are coming close to straying low. One did, putting Booth down in round number three. Good uppercut in the right hand. Freeman Barr much more aggressive here in round number four. Throws a right hand, doesn't have much effect. Good combination by Barr, the left jab by Freeman Barr. Booth loads up on a right hand. He's switching back and forth between conventional and southpaw. Gets hit with a, a straight left jab. You see the legs of Booth look a little unstable at this point. He's 36 years old, and again, he's been off for over a year. Freeman's been very active. 12 and one with six KOs. Lands a left hook. Booth getting very aggressive, but better watch out. Freeman's a slick counter puncher. Freeman will be featured in Ring Magazine in their New Faces column in October. Right now he's trying to paint the face of Roosevelt Booth. Booth with a, leads with the left jab, backing Freeman up, attempting to load up on the right hand. Let's see if he'll throw it. He looped it over the top and missed wildly. Those misses will take a lot out of you. Works to the inside of the bar. Booth coming in here, obviously, Freeman's hometown. He realized that. Good combination underneath by Freeman. You can hear those blows. Good left hook, that hurt Booth. Booth lands a, a big shot of his own, uppercut of his own, which backed up Freeman. Freeman with a left jab. Coming up on the end of round number four. And we'll be back. Set for round number five, the IBC America's middleweight title on the line. Freeman, the natural bar, defending. Have him ahead four straight rounds at this point. Bar attempts to lead right, backs up Booth. Now Booth did the right thing there, folks, sliding out of the way. 36-year-old legs, doesn't have to move a lot, but needs to at least slide out of the way when Barr attempts to rush in like that. Victor Cruz working the corner of Roosevelt Booth. Steve Canton, Carmen Richards, Mary Lynn Canton working the corner of Freeman Barr out of the SJC boxing stable. They're building quite a stable. You saw David Diamond D. Armstrong from that stable win the NABU title, lightweight title, over Alexis Barsley in our last fight. Live from Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium, Punta Gorda, Florida. Boxing on the internet, war on the Peace River. Both fighters in the black trunks. Freeman right now to our left left of your screen, now behind Roosevelt Booth. I saw Freeman out running a little bit today, may have had to drop a pounder, so that could have taken something out of him, although he lands a good combination there. Freeman with the lead right. 
Roosevelt Booth wins there. I don't know. The fighters' heads came together. I don't. Hopefully, there was no cut. Round number five. Freeman Bars IBC America's middleweight title on the line against Roosevelt Booth. Have Freeman at this point comfortably ahead. But Booth hanging in there. Left jab by Freeman lands. Lands a couple of body shots again. Really has been working the body of Roosevelt Booth. Dips low, tempts a right hand does bar. Fighters inside, referee Max Parker looks on. Left hook and a right hand left uppercut. Hurt Booth, uppercut, Booth ready to go. Big right hand, left hand combination. Booth is hurt. Right hand, left hand, good uppercut by Freeman. Booth in big trouble here in round number five. Only 10 seconds left for him to weather the storm. Freeman Barr, a big combination there. Lands a couple of, of jabs to the face, and Booth will survive round number five, but barely. We'll be back. score that one perhaps a 10-8 round no knockdown but Booth in Here big trouble on several occasions in round number five a big one for Freeman Barr it'll be interesting to see how Booth comes out here for round number six Freeman Barr comfortably ahead you can see they're working Victor Cruz working on Roosevelt Booth trying to revive him and I would expect Freeman Barr to come out here in round number six and try to finish things off. Here's the bell. Freeman Barr, an electrician, apprentice, and trying to uh, put the, the lights out on Roosevelt Booth, and he hurts him with a right hand. Booth is uh, rubbing his eye there. He's ready to go. Roosevelt Booth has had enough here tonight. I don't, I, it, we'll be lucky to get through this sixth round here. He throws a big right hand, however, but gets hit with another right hand. He's game, but he's in trouble. And he's outclassed tonight by Freeman Barr. Good body shot, misses wildly. And again, those, those looping punches like that will take a lot out of you, folks. Max Parker warns. Roosevelt about coming in with the head like that, leading with the head. Freeman Barr landing that left jab at will now, trying to set up some bigger shots that perhaps will take a wobbly Roosevelt booth out of here. Barr attempts to lead with the left hook. Throws a lazy right hand. Kind of surprised that Roosevelt is still with us. And now he's on his toes moving around. Let's see if this will help him. 36-year-old legs, folks. He's way behind on points. Perhaps this is survival strategy for Roosevelt Booth. Live boxing on the internet. War on the Peace River. Right hand by Barr. Raises the chin of Roosevelt Booth. Booth attempting to throw the left hook off, trying to counter off Freeman's jab. Barr shakes his head. No one comes forward. Well, Booth has somehow weathered the storm here in round number six. Thus far, thought Freeman would come out a little busier. But he's patient. We have 12 rounds. Big crowd here tonight at the Charlotte County Memorial Auditorium. And they're seeing some good boxing. Right hand, that hurts. Roosevelt Booth ready to go. Barr comes in. Big right hand, uppercut. 
Another right hand. He's out on his feet. Max Parker comes in, and he'll give him the standing eight count, but he, he might need a standing 80 count. Shaking his head. I'll be surprised, but I've said that before. It's over. It's over. In round number six, Freeman Barr retains his IBC America's middleweight title, stopping Roosevelt Booth here in round number six. Roosevelt Booth down will be attended immediately by the ringside physicians. And Freeman Barr moves his record to 13 and one. And now seven KOs. Steve Canton, SJC Boxing President, hugging Freeman. Freeman being exhorted in the crowd as they attend to Roosevelt Booth, whose record falls to 12, seven and one. A game youngster out of Bradenton, but outclassed here tonight, quite honestly, by Freeman Barr. Well, Freeman said it was a uh, Easier to win a championship than to retain it. But he looked pretty good here tonight. Boxing on the internet, folks. And Booth is okay, and that's good to see. Up smiling, nice young man. Spoke to him earlier. Getting married with three children. Dad's all right. Let's go up to ring announcer Bob Alexander with the exacts.